I'm Romero Johnson, boss of bosses of the Romero family and owner of the New Black Wall Street. There's a great many shows and movies that I grew up watching, but I'll take this time to tell you about two of them, mainly because I'm using some features from both of these shows for the next show that I've created. The first one is my favorite movie of all time, which is The Wiz, starring Michael Jackson as the Scarecrow, Diana Ross as Dorothy, Ted Ross as the Cowardly Lion, Nipsey Russell as the Tin Man, Richard Pryor as the Great and Powerful Wiz, and Lena Horne as Glenda, the Good Witch of the South. Side note. I see why Fred Sanford was in love with Lena Horne on his show, Sanford and Son. That woman was phenomenally beautiful. The Wiz is a movie that I can watch over and over again without ever growing tired of it. There was a time that I remember watching it three times in just one day, back to back. Whether I was sad, mad, depressed, bored, or whatever mood that I was in, that movie was my happy place. For those who don't know what The Wiz is in 2023, in layman terms, it's the all black cast version of The Wizard of Oz, except so much better. There was a place called Emerald City in The Wiz, which had emeralds everywhere that would change colors with every new song selection that was introduced and played by Richard Pryor. Not only was he the great and powerful Wiz, but it led me to believe that he was also the DJ of Emerald City. And then there's Soul Train. The Soul Train was a weekly show created in 1971 by a visionary brother named Don Cornelius. He created the televised dance club for young adults to showcase the latest hip hop music and dance moves of that era. Watching that show inspired viewers to either learn how to dance or add some new moves to their arsenal of dance steps for when they do go out again. Though I enjoyed everything about the show, the highlight for me was when the couples were featured at the end and dancing down the Soul Train line. The Soul Train stopped airing in 2006. It was a great run and it definitely got a lot of smiles from me. Since the ending of the show, I thought about bringing it back. But not exactly the same show. But something that I'll let you know that my show was inspired by the Soul Train. With a little more riser to the dazzle though. Then it hit me while I was watching The Wiz again. My vision primarily came from the scene when all of the main characters reach Emerald City. In search for the great and powerful Wiz to grant all of them their wishes. Emerald City in the movie was shown as a big dance club where everyone in there was dressed to the T and in sync with one another's dance moves. Which brings me to my vision. First off, I'm calling my place Emerald City. And don't act like y'all ain't know I was gonna say that. It's gonna be a very large two-sided dance club and bar that we'll probably open in once a week. There will be no drama, fighting, or anything jumping off here. If there's any beef with anyone, y'all better squash it quick. I will ban any offender of this rule at the drop of a dime. The first side will be where people can dance, drink, and socialize with others if they want to. It'll be a regular dance club or party center scene. Everyone on the floor dancing will be watched by the host of our show. And if they like someone's dance moves, then the host will come directly to you and ask you if you'd like to be on the show. Or we could just shine a bright spotlight on the people with the best dance moves and then bring them a VIP card for the televised side. In either case, it'll be five to 10 people selected or five to 10 couples selected. The person who will be doing the selecting will not be selecting people because of personal friendships, relationships, bloodlines, or favors. It'll only be from best dance moves. Now, I'll tell you about the televised side. 
This is the side where our selected people will dance for the world to see. So yes, it's televised. And I want you all to understand this right now. If you are twerking and shaking your ass on the other side, you will not be selected to dance on this side. This will be a pre-taped show. So if you get on this side and try to shake something in the last minute, thinking that you're on live television, you won't be aired and you'll never be allowed to be on the televised side again. There is no and will be no drinking on this side. As of now, 21 and older will be admitted to be here. So don't compel me to move the age restriction up by y'all acting like fools. I absolutely have no problem with permanently banning unruly people. We will have big emeralds that will change colors with each different song that is played by the host, as it did when Richard Pryor introduced a new color to dance to in The Wiz. Maybe each night we'll have one of MOB's recording artists performing one of their songs on the live side. Near the end of the show, we will mimic the Soul Train where the selected dancers will dance down the line to end the night. But it isn't the Soul Train line painted on the floor. It will be the Yellow Brick Road. So come on down. So we can ease on down, ease on down the road.